Major sponsors for Ableton On Air include Washington County Mental Health, where hope and support come together. Media sponsors for Ableton On Air include Parkchester Times, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, Associated Press Media Editors, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, U.S. Press Corps Domestic and International, Anchor FM, and Spotify. Partners for Ableton On Air include Yahad of New York and New England, where everyone belongs, the Orthodox Union, the Division for the Blind and Visually Impaired of Vermont, the Vermont Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired, Central Vermont Habitat for Humanity, Montefiore Medical Center of the Bronx, Rose F. Kennedy Center of Bronx, New York, Albert Einstein College of Medicine of the Bronx. Able Then On Air has been seen in the following publications. Parchester Times, www.thisisthebronx.com, New York Pirate Online Newspaper, Muslim Community Report, www.h.com, and the Montpelier Bridge. Ableton On Air is part of the following organizations. The National Academy of Television, Arts, and Sciences, Boston, New England chapter, and the Society of Professional Journalists. Welcome to this edition of Able Dinner on Air, the one and only program that focuses on the needs, concerns, and achievements of the differently able. I've always been your host, Lauren Seiler. On this, um, uh, before we get to uh, this edition, which we are talking about the wildfires in Hawaii, um, before we get to that important topic, um, I would like to thank our sponsors, Washington County Mental Health, and the partnership with um, Higher Ability Vermont, uh, the partnerships up with um, with um, the Division for the Blind in Vermont and the Association for the Blind in Vermont and many, many, many others that have helped us in sponsorships or um, or partnerships with Ableton on air. Um, now let's get to, to today's uh, to uh, this week's topic, which is. Uh, the uh, devastation that happened in uh, in Hawaii. Um, uh, so what happened in Hawaii? Um, uh, according to the association, according to the Associated Press and many other uh, news outlets that have been following this, including Ableton on air. Um, in Lahaina, Hawaii, according to the Associated Press, a mobile morgue unit has arrived on Tuesday. Uh, now imagine uh, this has devastated um, the island of, Ho of Hawaii. Uh, uh, Maui and everybody else that is um, going through this. A mobile morgue unit arrived this past Tuesday to help Hawaii officials working painstakingly to identify the remains of people killed in wildfires that ravaged Maui. And the death toll rose above 100. As a matter of fact, now, according to President Biden, it is 106. And teams intensi intensified the search for more dead in neighborhoods and reduced to ash. Governor Scott Green, I mean, excuse me, Governor Josh Green, Joshua Green uh, of Hawaii announced that confirmed the death toll has risen from 99 to 101. And in the afternoon, video saying, We are heart sick. We've just had such a loss. The U.S., uh, and, now it's, uh, and now it's 106 um, as of today. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services deployed a team of coroners, pathologists, technicians, along with an exam table, x-ray units, and other equipment to identify victims and process remains, says Jonathan Green. 
the agency's deputy uh, secretary for response. Um, it's going, according to the uh, Department of Health, it's going to be a very difficult, a very, very difficult mission, says Green, and patients will be incredibly important because of the number of victims. A week after the blaze tore through the historic uh, Lahana, Hawaii, uh, and many survivors moving to hundreds of hotel rooms set aside for uh, set aside for displaced locals, while donations of food, ice, water, ice water, and many other essentials poured in. Crews with cadaver dogs that scoured about 30, 32 percent of the area of the area of Maui of the county of Maui said in a statement Tuesday that the governor asked for patience as, as authorities became overwhelmed with requests to visit the burn area. Just three bodies have been identified thus far, and officials are starting to release, are starting to release names. Tuesday, according to the Maui Police Chief John Pelletier, uh, um, who renewed an appeal with families of missing relatives to provide DNA samples. So far, according to this report, 41 samples have been submitted by the county of uh, Maui uh, in a statement, and 13 DNA profiles have been obtained uh, with the remains. The governor warned that scores of, the, of bodies can be found, wildfires, and some have not been fully contained and are ready, uh, are already ready to de the deadliest in the U.S. in more than a century. The cause is under investigation. When, when asked by the Hawaii News, uh, Hawaii News Now, which is a television program, if children are among the missing, Green said Tuesday, tragically, yes. The bodies are smaller, and we know it's a child. Um, he described of the sites being searched too much to share to see if it's just human perspective. Another complicating factor says Green that the storms, wind, and rain were in the forecast for the weekend. Officials are mulling weather. <clears throat> Preemptively, power power is down or lack of short period of time because now the infrastructure is weaker. A week after the fire started, <clears throat> some residents remain with intermittent power and reliable cell phone service and uncertainty whether to get assistance. Um, some people walked periodically to a seawall where phone connections were strongest to make calls. Flying low off the coast with a single prop airplane and a loudspeaker to blare information where to get water and supplies. Victoria a month to sea lost her scuba business and a boat um, who lost a sc who lost her scoop of business in a boat? Planned to travel to her storage unit in in Kauai and Kahana home Wednesday to stash documents and keepsakes and keep to keep by her friend, which house was burned. These things she grabbed, and the only thing she could grab, and I wanted to keep them safe. She said, a lower a a, a local power utility has been f faced with criticism by not shutting off the power as strong as when buffed, uh, buffed under a high-risk area for fire, and it is not clear whether the utility equipment played any role in, uniting, in igniting the flames. Hawaiian, the Hawaiian Electric Company President and CEO 
Shili uh, 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 Kimura said that factors go into the decision to, to cut power, including the impact on people who rely on specialized medical equipment and concerns that a shut off in the fire would knock out water pumps. Um, yeah, if you have specialized medical equipment during a wildfire, it's uh, really hard to deal with. Um, Green said the flames raced as, as fast as a mile, 1.6 kilometers every minute in, in some areas, fueled by dry g grass and propelled by strong winds from a passing hurricane. The blaze that swept into centuries-old Lahana last week destroyed nearly every building in the town of 13,000. The fire had been 85% contained, according to the country, uh, according to the county. Another blaze as an up-county fire was 60% contained. The Lahana fire caused about $3.2 billion in, in short property losses, according to the calculations by Karen Clark and Company, a prominent disaster and risk modeling company that, does, that doesn't count damage of, to, in, to uninsured property. The firm said that in, three, in 2,200 buildings were damaged and destroyed by flames, and 3,000 damaged by fire and smoke, or both. Even where the flames had retreated, authorities had warned that toxic byproducts may remain in drinking water, and flames spewed poisonous fumes that are and people are unable to return home. The Red Cross said that 575 evacuees were spread across shelters on Monday. Green said that thousands of people needed housing and at least for at least 36 weeks. He said on Tuesday that some 450 hotel rooms and 1,000 Airbnb rentals will be, be made available. President Joe Biden said on Tuesday he and the First Lady would be would visit Hawaii as soon as they can, and he doesn't want his presence to interrupt recovery and cleanup efforts. During a stop in Milwaukee to highlight his economic agenda, Biden pledged that every asset they need will be there for them. FEMA will be providing $700 to displaced residents $700 each to displace residents to discover to cover the cost of food, water, first aid, and medical supplies, in addition to qualifying coverage of loss of homes and personal property. The Biden administration is, is seeking $12 billion more of governor's disaster relief fund as part of, sub of, as part of the supplemental funding request by Congress. Green said that leaders across the board are helping to donate one million pounds, um, which is about 450,000 kilograms of food, as well as ice, water, diapers, formula, U.S. and, uh, for, and formula. U.S. Marines and Hawaii National Guard and the Army Corps of Engineers and Coast Guard have all joined the aid of recovery efforts. Um, the Lahana, <clears throat> um, a Lahana resident, um, a Kioka Lansford, said, said that uh, who helped rescue as the flames. Uh, she was helped being rescued as the flames swept across the town. Now he is collecting stories of survivors. <coughs> hoping to create a timeline of what happened. He has 170 emails so far. The scene was haunting, horrible, Lansford said Tuesday. 
You could see, you have seen hell in the movies. That's what it looked like, fire everywhere and dead people. Um, Honolulu, Honolulu reported, uh, um, and Los Angeles Associated Press journalist Bobby Kana, Calvin of Kauai, and Haven Daly of, of, of Hawaii, and um, other reporters from um, New Hampshire and other, pla other places, including Washington, have contributed. The Associated Press Climate Environmental Coverage receives support from several private foundations. Um, also, uh, if you want more information on the wildfires, you can go to www.apnews.com slash Hawaii. So now I'm going to give you um, information on American Red Cross Disaster Relief. Um, so if you're having any disaster right now, uh, fires, flood, anything of that nature, the Red Cross has disaster relief services. Uh, you can go to www.redcross.org. That's www.redcross.org -E um, forward slash disaster. The Red Cross responds to an emergency every eight minutes. Um, so, if you need help from home fire relief, hurricane relief, wildfire relief, or flood relief, you can go to www.redcross.org. Uh, um, and down here, there, as you can see on your screen, there is a graph. Um, if you want to learn more about the historic disaster responses according to year, the map. Let's go to 2022 and go across the graph. Um, Hurricane Ian was in 22, so um, going. Um, up top, if you want to volunteer, I'm going to the part up top here. So anybody that wants to volunteer um, for the American Red Cross, again, you can go to www.redcross.org forward slash volunteer. You can be a blood ambassador and give blood. Uh, you can do blood transportation. You can be a blood trans transportation specialist. Ninety percent of the Red Cross workforce are volunteers, um, and there are videos to watch uh, and training to watch, and so on. So, volunteers help respond to an average of sixty thousand disasters every year. More than twenty-five thousand volunteers support Red Cross blood services. More than 15,000 nurses and nursing students are volunteers. 25% uh, of volunteers are age 24 or younger. Um, and you can go here to give blood. Uh, there's training and certification, um, so on and so forth. So uh, for more, again, um, there's a graph, a drop-down menu, but for more information on the American Red Cross, uh, you can go to www.redcross.org, um, www that's R-E-D-C-R-O-S-S dot -S org forward slash volunteer. It's extremely important to help our neighbors in need. Uh, during, uh, especially during the Montpelier flood that we've had recently, um, 
or anything that uh, is dealing with disaster relief. Um, we must help our neighbors also by giving food. Uh, one last, um, one last website I'm going to give during this show. If during disaster relief, um, um, during the disaster situation, um, anybody that needs food stamps during this time of need, um, I'm going to go click here. Uh, anybody that needs food stamp benefits during a uh, flash flood, fires, and so on, you can go to www.usa.gov forward slash food stamps. So that's www.usa.gov forward slash food stamps. Um, it, and they give you information on how to, um, known as food stamps, SNAP, the Supplemental uh, Nutrition Assistance Program. You can pay for food if you have low income. Each month, SNAP benefits are added to an electronic benefit transfer EBT card, but you can shop for food. Um, to be eligible for SNAP benefits during disasters or, or regular time, you must, be, you must meet your state's requirements. So you must meet the Vermont requirements um, if you need food stamps. Um, and it, it's part of your income limit. States can take other resources into account, like the money you have in your bank to decide if you qualify for SNAP. To apply for SNAP, contact your state or local SNAP office. Depending on your state, you may apply online, in person, by mail, or fax. You, can, um, you may need to be interviewed before you get SNAP benefits. Uh, so, for more from and um, <clears throat> and on the side of this page, um, the uh, USA.gov, uh, it also talks about school meals. So let's go there for a minute because we're going to be going into school in September. Um, school meals and food programs for children. Your child might qualify for a free reduced price meal at their school or child care center. Um, they can get food assistance through the school year and summer break. Uh, the national, you can scroll down and go to the national school lunch program, the school breakfast program, and the, so, the special milk program for milk for students. For more information on this page uh, or this information, you can go to www.usa.gov forward slash, forward slash school meals, uh, school meals starting in September, or maybe this summer they also have school meals. Um, this information was important today due to uh, the wildfires or anything, any other resource that you needed on today's program. You can also go to www. Uh, dot orcamedia dot net <clears throat> and look at able then on air so that's www dot orcamedia dot net uh, forward slash able then on air um, this has been uh, an episode of able then on air again um, Arlene is not here today she is uh, recuperating in the hospital and we wish her speedy recovery I'm Lauren Seiler see you next time. Major sponsors for Ableton On Air include Washington County Mental Health, where hope and support come together. Media sponsors for Ableton On Air include Parkchester Times, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, Associated Press Media Editors, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, U.S. Press Corps 
Domestic and International, Anchor FM, and Spotify. Partners for Ableton On Air include Yahad of New York and New England, where everyone belongs, the Orthodox Union, the Division for the Blind and Visually Impaired of Vermont, the Vermont Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired, Central Vermont Habitat for Humanity, Montefiore Medical Center of the Bronx, Rose F. Kennedy Center of Bronx, New York, Albert Einstein College of Medicine of the Bronx. Abel Air has been seen in the following publications. Parchester Times, www.thisisthebronx.com, New York Pirate Online Newspaper, Muslim Community Report, www.h.com, and the Montpelier Bridge. Ableton On Air is part of the following organizations. The National Academy of Television, Arts, and Sciences, Boston, New England chapter, and the Society of Professional Journalists.